why do we rally at the Fed? So I would like to give you a few comments to help you understand why we rally at the Fed. We rally at the Fed because money shapes the future, and whoever controls money controls the future. We rally at the Fed because we need to stop pouring money into Wall Street and big government. We rally at the Fed because we need to lift our nation and our people out of unsustainable debt. We rally because we need to start financing sustainable growth, new jobs, and green technology. We rally because we need to deliver economic justice for every American citizen. You see, people are suffering from increasing economic insecurity, increasing joblessness, and disappearing retirement incomes. People see a growing gap between those who own and control productive wealth and those who own little or nothing. The anger of the 99% and the Occupy movements has spread indeed around the world. We rally because it is time to start building ownership in every have-not without taking ownership away from the haves. We rally because simply demanding more jobs and are taxing away the property of the 1% won't solve the problem. We rally at the Fed because it's time to start putting money power into the hands of every citizen and every family in America. So you might ask, what is the solution? The solution lies in how we structure our tax system, our money system, and our credit system with justice. The tax system must be replaced with a more just and simplified system that would achieve five goals. First, lift artificial tax barriers and tax expenditures that perpetuate monopoly capitalism. Two, tax all consumption incomes above quality of life exemptions at a single rate calculated to eliminate all budget deficits and begin to pay off old government debt. Three, encourage enterprises to pay out fully tax deductible dividends and finance all future capital with the issuance of new full dividend payout capital homesteading shares. And four, encourage the spreading out of now concentrated economic power as widely as possible from one generation to the next by shifting from taxing the estates of the super rich to taxing at the single personal rate the recipients on all gifts and inheritances that exceed the recipient's holdings over $1 million. And finally, we need to demand the plan. We need to demand the plan. Section 13, paragraph 2 of the Federal Reserve Act holds a critical monetary key to opening the door to justice through ownership for every member of society. Today you will learn how the Capital Homestead Act would change our monetary and tax systems to break the corrupt partnership between monopoly capitalism and welfare statism and enable every American citizen to participate as a direct owner of income producing capital. You see, ladies and gentlemen, it's time to deliver a new and unifying message to our people. Own or be owned. Own or be owned. Own or be owned. It's time for justice through ownership. Justice through ownership. It's time for capital homesteading now. Capital homesteading now. It's time to demand the plan. Demand the plan. Demand the plan. My brothers and sisters, 
What we need is a revolution. We need a revolution because you cannot effectively confront a system that continues to ignore you. We need a revolution because before you can confront a system, you must first get its attention. Amen. We need a revolution because the system will not go willingly into the dark. We need a revolution. Because concentrated communism and unbridled capitalism have both murdered millions of people throughout their history, we need a revolution. Amen. We need a revolution because the robber barons of the 1% have perverted our fragile democratic system to their use. We need a revolution because only an aroused and engaged moral will of the people can overcome a corrupt system. Brothers and sisters, we need a revolution because passion promotes possibilities through purpose, but frustration feeds failure through fear. We need a revolution because God did not give us a spirit of fear, but of power, of love, and of a sound mind. CESJ has spoken through the voice of the Just Third Way. Own or beyond. Own or beyond. Justice through ownership. Justice through ownership. Capital homesteading now. Capital homesteading now. Demand the plan. Demand the plan. Demand the plan. Now it's up to you to find your voice.